Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at the Figurize Standard Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Picked this up on a whim. I always thought Broly was a cool villain. I thought he was over the top, crazy, wild, loved him. Eh, why not? Let's see what we got. The head is made up of many, many, many layers of hair. <laughs> this is a very cool hair. It's, is it green? Is it yellow? Is it gold? Yes, to all of the above. It's got a little bit of everything in there. It's got a really cool look. You got this laughing face. See that red tongue in there? That is a sticker. Everything else is, as you see, you don't need to add anything. No paint required. There's one, two, three, four, five layers of hair. And yeah, kind of spiky. Hurt your palms. You remove the top layer of hair to change out the faces. You get that laughing face. Like I said, the tongue is a... Uh, sticker, but you get this smirk. Don't need to do anything there. No stickers, no nothing. Add on the buff body. Uh, the necklace is embedded right into the chest, so it's never going to fall off. It's not loose or hanging loose. The torso moves. Uh, it's got this ball joint in there, so it'll move all around. The shoulders look kind of weird, but they work. Pop out so you can have more movement out of the shoulders and the arms. And he's very, very buff. And he knows it. He's Broly. I do like to give you the clear blue. They do that for the necklaces and then on the, his wrist and his ankles later. So not, all, not any painting required on this thing. Add on the arms with his giant beach ball shoulders. Just over the top muscles. Pretty decent bend out of the elbow. Nothing great. It hides all the joints really well. I wasn't that thrilled with how it did in the uh, Gohan I did. But I guess with bi bigger kit more space get the fists, which are just two pieces of plastic hooked together, so it doesn't look very good. And you get the grapple hand, which looks okay. So, I mean, kind of what I was expecting, but hey. Legs, I really like the way they did the legs on this. You got the cloth, you know, white leggings there. Leggings, pants, whatever. You get the ankle on a ball joint, twist any way you want, turn. Pretty big bend out of the knee, bigger than I was expecting for such a big leg. I plant it, move it, ankles will bend, you get a nice you know, bend that way. I mean, you get a lot of poses out of this thing, I'm kind of surprised. On the hip joints, you got variable hips in both directions. What I mean by that is, there you go, so up, down, sideways, whatever you want. Lots of different angles. Put on his... I'm going to call this toga. I'm going to call it a toga. This toga here, it all lines up perfectly. So if you just want to have him standing there, you can line it up as so. So every piece is lined up exactly where it needs to be and it looks perfect. But if you want to move him, torso, the torso, the toga separates and moves out of the way. It's all on joints. So it'll just slide open. It looks like a weird looking cape now, but it's out of the way. So you can do all sorts of neat poses. So you spread those legs out, bend the knees, twist the ankles a little bit, one arm up, like he's about to summon something. There are no beam effect parts with this kit. The only real accessories you get are these. These are extra faces for figurized Vegeta and Goku figures. Goku's tongue there is also a sticker, by the way. Um, I refer to these as the, I just got kicked in the shin Vegeta, and someone just kicked me in the balls Goku. So you can act as if Broly's beating them up. Neat! Anywho, a little size comparison. Here's the figurized Gohan. You can see just how big Broly is. He's pretty massive. I put figurized Gohan in his little you know, aura extra I bought for him. Broly doesn't even fit in it. He's too wide, so it doesn't really work with these effect parts. And just in kicks and giggles, here's the American TV movie collector's edition Broly. Uh, I always thought this Broly figure was funny because the look on his face looks like he's slightly annoyed that someone just took the last fry off his plate. Anywho, final thoughts on this kit. I kind of enjoyed it. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the Gohan figure when I got it. I guess adding you know more size to it like this actually makes it okay. I mean, it's not a very expensive. By figureized standards, it is. It costs you around $35, $40. And most figureized kits are a lot cheaper than that. But... It's a fun little kit. It can be built super fast. You sit down, you can build this thing in an hour, two hours tops, and probably not even that. Uh, simple build, 
fun little distraction. If you want one, pick it up. It's, it's like it's nothing really to write home about, but it's kind of neat. If you want the figure arch Broly, that kit, I mean, that action figure will cost you north of 100 This you can get for 40 It's still pretty good. I like it. Thumbs up. Well, gang, thanks for watching. Hope you found it informative. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, ask them. I will answer them as best I can. Please stay tuned for more. Always got more reviews coming. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Broly's power is maximum. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my head. That was stupid. Oh.